Continuing coverage tonight, Blount County Sheriff's Office released the body camera and dash camera footage in the shooting that resulted in the death of Deputy Greg McCowan and the shooting that wounded Deputy Shelby Eggers. Kenneth Wayne DeHart Jr., who appeared in Blount County Court this week, is accused of pulling the trigger during a traffic stop last week on Sevierville Road. And new tonight, 10 News reporter Aaron Velasquez joins us to break down the video with a law enforcement expert's opinion. Aaron. Katie, the video shows us what led up to last week's deadly shooting on Sevierville Road. I spoke with Kevin Davis, a retired law enforcement officer with 39 years of experience. He was also recognized as a trainer of the year by the National Law Enforcement Hall of Fame for his thoughts. Dash cam video from Deputy Shelby Eggers patrol vehicle shows Kenneth Wayne DeHart Jr. crossing the center line, which prompts the traffic stop. As anyone that watches the video can see, the uh, subject was uh, left of center for quite a period of time. After Deputy Eggers makes first contact, she goes back to her vehicle and calls Deputy McCowan to inform him that she believes the car smells like marijuana and was driving in the opposite lane. car smells like weed uh, and he was in the opposite lane. What she's trying to do is investigate further to establish the elements of the crime to make a DUI uh, an arrest or some other type of, uh, of uh, violation. Now, she's within her rights to ask the subject to get out of the vehicle. That's a standard in law. DeHart Jr. refuses to step out of the vehicle for more than five minutes. I just need you to step out of the car, Katie. I'm refusing to search, man. Okay, so, so here's what's going to happen if you don't step out of the car. We're going to have to drag you out of the car, and then you're going to go to jail. Here it's multiple times where they give him, uh, you know, uh, loud, repetitive verbal commands to get out of the car. He chooses not to. Deputy McCowan arrives, and he immediately instructs DeHart Jr. to step out of the vehicle. You can step out the car. No, sir. You will get out of the car. The deputies deploy a taser, and it activated at least three times. Well, the use of an intermediate weapon like the taser it seems appropriate at this point when they try physically to extricate him, and he fights against them. The suspect then shoots a gun at least six times at the deputies. Eggers returned fire twice before she began to place a tourniquet on her wound. The video ends with two people assisting Eggers with her tourniquet and staying with Deputy McCowan until help arrives. You can watch the video released by the Sheriff's Office on our website, WBIR.com. Warning, the video is violent and shocking, so viewer discretion is advised. Back to you, Katie. Aaron, thank you for that perspective.